Ok, with that, with that, allora buonasera, grazie per essere venuti, thank you for coming here and on the big screen we have uh, an audience at, from home, uh, I have the pleasure to have next to me uh, Bonizella Viagini, uh, who, will me. Me, who will uh, introduce uh, herself, her family, her property, and the tour that she studied. And I'm Francesca Casata. For those of you who do not know me, I started this adventure with the Italian Cultural Society as a teacher in 2006. And then after a few years in Barcelona, I came back in 2013. I came back, I was teaching. I also was teaching University of Maryland, Montgomery College, uh, SAIS, Johns Hopkins University. And then in 2014, I became the director of the language program. And then in 2017, the executive director covering also um, events, scholarship, and all the programs that we have. But uh, the Italian language program is our main uh, program, and uh, we also have been offering for many years uh, courses plus trips. So courses focused on a particular re region with their art, their history, uh, literature, and you know, gastronomy. And then uh, we suggest the agents in Italy to take care of our students because we want to offer the experience uh, of an insider, the, an insider experience. And therefore, uh, we did this uh, in the past, where I uh, still do. <laughs> We also work with Bethesda Travel, and actually on Thursday, the owner of Bethesda Travel will be here. You <laughs> went uh, with uh, Annalise uh, last year, and this year we are very happy. Please come in. <laughs> this year we are very happy to start uh, with this uh, collaboration uh, with uh, Villa Bunizella Tours. And uh, I'm very happy because uh, Bunizella and I Synced, we're, we're in sync Click from the beginning because she's open, uh, she's uh, welcoming uh, people in our home, uh, people who have a love, who are uh, connected uh, through uh, cultural organizations like our, which uh, mission is to enhance the appreciation and uh, knowledge of Italian culture and language, and we do this. Uh, creating many opportunities like this to discover Italy and to create bonds between Italians and Americans. Therefore, uh, I'll turn it over to you to uh, start your presentation. You tell me when you are ready, we'll do a um, share screen uh, with a PowerPoint presentation. Yes, but thank you, Francesca, very much. <laughs> so I think that we can we can open probably the the first ah, okay. the first yeah, slide uh, uh, while I start introducing. Yes. Uh, it's um, we um, we are a family. We're an Italian family with with deep roots in uh, in Italy, in particular in Tuscany. And with this property, we have owned for generations, and we are very we have very strong connections with the with the territory. But at the same time, we have lived in the US thirty years, twenty of which in Washington DC. So we really have feel like that we can represent this this connection between the two the two countries, the two cultures. And we created um, after we uh, retired from. Uh, uh, different activities we 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 got into this business and we created um this uh, this business that I, that is a little complex i mean complex it, it is exactly what we thought we wanted to do not not just giving the villa uh, you know for enjoyment but but to really create special experiences that were uh, tailored for what we understood that that our friends are are guests wanted and to put our knowledge in that of, of the region but also our understanding of how americans like is mostly for our american friends to really create a bridge between these two cultures so we can you see at home the the presentation can you see? all see it see? at okay. home yeah yes <laughs> okay so um this is um the, the, there is also a scoop i'm gonna share immediately at the beginning that I convinced Francesca to come. So the the teacher who will be teaching in this in this um, special 
week that we have created for you, the Italian teacher will be there. Yeah. So it's not well, any I'm teacher. I love to teach. It's, it's a special, it's a special. And I'm very happy because, you know, it's the, this idea was really a collaboration between the two of us. So we will, we will launch it together. Uh, so, so, how can I, oops. So this is the, the one. Okay. So um, as, I, as I was saying, this is a unique partnership because it was really between the two, the two, um, the, the two organizations, the Italian Cultural Society and the Villa Bonicella Tours, that, that again is a, is a combination of an American company and an Italian property that we, that we merged together so that we wanted to um, create these experiences. And um, uh, this is the, the, the first thing that is special is that we're giving our villa, which is not an hotel, is not a commercial place, it's really our home. However, we transformed our home into a place with all the amenities of actually an hotel, but you will feel that you'll be home and I will be there, you'll be my guests and you will feel like being at home in a, in a, in a warming and welcoming place, with, but with the same standards that you would have in an hotel where, you know, where, that is more anonymous. So first of all, we we uh, we did we did we accomplished this this result of of um, making the um, the the place uh, with standards with with vacation standards that are high, but at the same time without losing the the warmth of of the real home. Also, our our home has been furnished with um, all the furniture that we inherited since we 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 come from. Um, families with a certain pedigree, we also had, you know, castles that somewhere still have, somewhere sold. So we inherited the, all the furniture of these castles. So the level of furniture is a real antique and is and is like, you, you go there, you really feel like, you know, a, a princess in a, in a special place and, and, and a prince, of course. And, and um, Francesca, of course, she, um, she has been doing this with, with other, you know, with other friends, with other organizations. So um, we, bring, we bring our villa with this incredible location with uh, the feeling of being in a home and at the same time the comfort so we have very um up, very state of the art um air conditioning system so you have a thermostat you it's completely quiet my american friends come and say this is slicker than the one i have at home so <laughs> we made a very very you know uh up to date um uh, so just to give people the feeling that so this is those not going next well we can always go to next so our common vision again we have these two with two organizations we have villa bonizella tours that was created by us and we wanted to to have this uh, this harmonic region and we know what you like we know you you like uh, high speed internet you like your own bathroom that looks uh, antique but is actually new and uh, like we have hand painted tiles, every bathroom is different. So you have really the feeling that you are every room has its own stories, follows, and but the, the but the standards are the same as if they were all equal in you know hotel. Um, also, we have all the right contacts, so we know when we're there which are the most fun things to do, which are the connections we have, or where to take you, and at the same time. Francesca was telling me when we met that she has experience at this organization that the Italian Cultural Society wants to do this. That practically we had the same common vision without knowing. You know, they were they were trying to to uh, to reach out to Americans and people here who uh, love the Italian language and the Italian culture. And we from Italy wanted to do that. And she's looking for partners who wants to do this this thing. So to create this initiative was took took nothing because we. We had the same ideas. We had the same vision, and we said, "Let's merge these two visions and and um, and keep going." So, uh, as I was saying, the villa has is was built in the in the fourteenth century. The base of the villa was a tower, and it was you would see it when you see it. It was made in um, in different stages, and and it also has a wing that you don't see on the back. So it's a kind of a it's like a little hamlet essentially. <laughs> And um, and um, it has some special features, you know, in Tuscany, all the houses are beautiful, 
but we all have our particularities, so uh, the particular features. And in the case of this villa, you have the views that are from the villa you you will die for. And even though my website is good, you will you when when all the people who came or people who came told me this exceeds my expectations because the beauty of the view. First of all, you have a completely incontaminated view. 180 degrees of complete open countryside with no modern buildings. It's like a Leonardo da Vinci background. It's it's completely there is a medieval castle in front of you, another medieval buildings, and because you know in Tuscany nothing moves because even to open a window you have to write I don't know fill up 15 papers, so nothing moves, and so that stayed the same way. But the view is striking, and it has an internal courtyard that generally is only typical of monasteries, and so you have this kind. Of, and I we have a library with antique book collections mm -hmm. because my father was a scholar and, and collected antique books. And, in, and you can see that uh, we have um, authentic European furniture. So we didn't dumb it down for the guests. We kept it as we keep it with the furniture that we had, as I was telling you, from, from uh, Castle, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, there is the modern feature of a fantastic swimming pool that, again, we had the pool uh, from so many decades. My mom made a pool in the 60s when it was really the daring thought to make a swimming pool in the, in the countryside and she didn't care. And then we renovated it. Now it has um, uh, a different sy filter system. It, it's uh, it's um, kept clean by salt technology. So the chlorine is created by chemically by the salt. So it doesn't have any chemicals in it, but it's still very clean. And so this is the... This is the Okay. Yes. You were talking so about I was the just this. I... I was just doing the giving you a a um, a, a snapshot of the special features. So again, there are all beautiful houses, but this one, even people from Tuscany, when they come, they they come to the second floor where you will have your rooms, and they go, their their job drops. So these are examples of the rooms. As I was saying, this is uh, this is um, our standard of life. Everything is antique. This is this is the library and this is the, the blue room. And as I was saying, all the rooms are different. I'm not gonna show you the bathrooms, but I was obsessed with my bathrooms. I think they're amazing. But you know, I spare you from that. You will you will see them in the website or when you see it. So we have the, another thing that we really care about is only up to 12 people. So you will have the villa for yourself. Uh, we all we need is a group of 12 people. And if there are more, we can we can set up a second week if you want. But I mean, the, the full group would be up to 12 people, from four to 12, because we really like the intimacy and the, the feeling. And also, if you don't know each other, you become friends, because when the group is so small, you, you interact, you make new friends, but it, it still compact, it doesn't feel like, you know, being again in an anonymous place. And so the, the rooms I give you this, you that is a, I will give you, we will give you the website um, and you will see it's described in a very, in a very straightforward way. All the rooms are there, all the bathrooms are there, all the views are there. They're just better in person. <laughs> but uh, you can see that I wanted to give you, you know, a little bit of flavor. So the, 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 the rooms and the pool. And then we, um, so after describing you briefly, the house, so the pleasantness. The the other thing that we really like is that often when you when you sign up for a um, organized tour, is generally they take you two days in one place, in you know, one hotel, then you pack and you check in, check out. This place is located in such a fortunate place because it's hard to find. So if you don't want paparazzi, you would be fine here because uh, I know that you know like like Britney You're Spears, you have a lot <laughs> behind. But I mean. Uh, yeah, but in case you have this problem or you want privacy, there's privacy because even the locals get lost. However, even though it's so remote that nobody finds it because it's in the woods, it's a little secret. At the same time, it's close to everything. So once you know the way, it's 40 minutes to Siena, one hour to Florence, 40 minutes to, to taste the best Brunello you ever tasted. Um, 50 minutes to the, the, the heart of the Chianti area. 
and um, and again so from there you have the luxury of seeing the best of Tuscany and then go home in a place where it's only you so you don't even lock the door I tell everybody lock your door nobody does it because it's us and you and and, and my staff and they just uh, feel like again our guests at home so we are close to everything so I put um, Francesca put the, uh, the the proposed itinerary. Actually, there is one option we wanted to ask you what you prefer, so that once once the group is formed, you can you can tell us. You can also put your input because these things are tailored and created just for you. They're not standard standard tools. And um, so, right. but I but before getting into that day by day thing, I wanted to just summarize the experiences. So. One thing we really care about is giving you access to these picturesque towns. You know, there is Siena that is more famous, and, and that's why we put the photo. I took this photo, so these are not taken from the, from the internet. This is a photo I did because when you go to Siena, and we always um, take you there accompanied by uh, top professional English-speaking English guides, so, for example, when you go to Siena and you go to the Duomo, there are two, two levels to see the Duomo. One is the floor. The floor of the Duomo of Siena is one of the most spectacular in the world. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting that it's a church, but the floor is completely decorated. And it's all um, pagan, not, not religious images. Mm -hmm. They're all stories like mythologic stories, you know, completely not related to religion, even though it was built, you know, as a church. And you have these two levels. You walk on the floor and the guide explains to you the story, but then you can go up and, and they call them the, the gates of Eden. You go to, to paradise and you are in the sky and you are close to the ceiling of, the, of, this, uh, um, of this cathedral. And the ceiling is all painted like the sky with the stars. And from there you can see again the floor and you see the, the details of the pavement you were walking on you see it from above. So I was doing that with my guests and I took this picture. So you have, we want to have fun giving you very secret places like Trequanda, I'm sure nobody of you knows or heard about it, but it's lovely. And we not only take you there, but also there is a, there is a gourmet local restaurant with a spectacular view. And, and so you will have, you know, fun seeing these, these, these unknown places and walk around and, and discover them. But then there is also Pienza. Pienza may be less known than San Gimignano, but Pienza was defined as the first perfect city. The, it's the first urban planning example in history. It was a, it was asked, a pope asked the, the architects to, to create it. And so it's very interesting and, and beautiful. And, it, and guess what? It's also near the Brunello place. So you can have a fantastic drive because it's very, it's very um, panoramic. Pienza is the name of the city. The Pope was Pius, uh, Pius the second, Pio II, Pio, Pio Secondo. And, and Pius, so Pienza is the, it was called different. It was the, the city of Pius, Pio. Renaissance, Yes. The San Gimignano really has the best Yes. <laughs> you have me at that one. Yes. <laughs> yes, because you know there is history, there is there is art, there is architecture, but you don't want to miss the best ice cream. Absolutely. And also we have the choice if everybody already knows that yes. San yes. Gimignano. So we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll tell I you. Know. We'll tell you after uh, after I have it. So I mean, so I I am now giving you like a snapshot. So we have towns, but but we. Of, of course, you'll have Italian lessons. You will come back that you will know, first of all, how to pronounce bruschetta. You will never say bruschetta again. Uh, I, I count on this. But besides that, you will, you will come back because it was, this will be a strong full immersion. You know, every day you will have Italian classes. But we will mix, you know, a little bit the, the towns, the, 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 let's call Siena and Arezzo cities, you know, they're still towns. But in, in, in the Middle Ages, Siena was the center of the universe. San Gimignano looked like New York. There was all towers. So and was like a business center. So we we had we we can we kind of um you you will get glimpses of medieval history and having fun seeing how much this city 
were were relevant in the medieval ages, in the medieval times, and now they remain the same. So you can completely re visualize how it how it was. And another experience is the wineries. You have to go and taste wine. So the two that we picked are the Brunello di Montalcino because you must drink that. And, and also, as I was saying, there is this beautiful day in which you stop in Pienza, you see this fantastic, you know, uh, perfect city, and then you, you walk around, and there will always be time, Francesca was asking me, there will always be time to do some shopping because the, all the little stores are adorable. So we won't, we won't um, uh, submerge you into only culture. There will be culture, uh, architecture, history, whatever, but there will be also food and fun and shopping and, and little memories, etc. cetera. So, um, and then there is the Fattoria Mainoni Guicciardini, which is our family farm because we also have another property because again, we're two, two families with, with a lot of history. So that's my husband. My last name is Piagini Gori and my husband is uh, Mainoni Guicciardini. I don't know if you, if any of you who have been to, to Florence remember Piazza Guicciardini, Palazzo Guicciardini, with Via Guicciardini. This was my, my husband's grandmother. And so uh, we still have a winery from the Guicciardini Strozzi uh, property. And, um, and my, uh, my young, um, young for us, my young nephew who is in his 30s, took over a little bit the day-to-day -day management of the winery. He's an extremely passionate um, organic farmer. Mm -hmm. And he tells you really what it means to produce wine. And, and also you will visit our, our family home that has a surprise inside there are some frescoes I don't tell you too much about. Mm -hmm. And anyway, so you will have the Chianti tasting and the Brunello tasting visit. So you have the the towns, the more, the more, the more known, the less known. You will have the Chianti and the Brunello. And then we have, of course, uh, we will we we are picking our our favorite restaurants. So more famous, less famous, but all gourmet and very high level, and they are very inexpensive. You know that that's an area where you can eat really really well, at very very, um, very very you know incomparably lower lower prices, and uh, and um, but we also organize. We have a chef that we have selected who speaks English and is very nice. But of course, if you want him to speak some Italian also at the end of the week, you may, you know, it's just that he will give you instruction in English, but if you want, he can, he can you know, share the, the keywords in Italian, etc. And we, we generally do the homemade pasta because it's the more fun to, you know, to, to make. And you can also make gnocchi. We can decide, but still some soft pasta. And then we eat it at the end. So at the end, we say, oh, my God, I did this. And I, how could I do it? But you do it. And then they will serve you. We, we eat. We have a beautiful gazebo near the, the pool in the, in the garden area. But the last, the last day when, when we had the... Um, uh, the, the the cooking class we will serve it along the pool just along the pool and the, and the chef and his staff will serve you at the pool so just to wrap it up with a with a happy note and uh, then there is uh, this beautiful lady teaching you with the most <laughs> uh, you you look the same if not better now and so um, we have this this professional and uh, and fantastic uh, teacher uh, and and entrepreneur who who will be with us and will teach you the classes every day. And she, do you want to say something on this one? Yeah, we see it depends on, in the form. Uh, if, if you apply and register, we up to the level of Italian so that they can organize it. Uh, if everybody's beginner, I'm sure not. Oh, uh, so. Uh, for more advanced level, we just have conversation uh, during the day with the beginners. We have a separate class, and then you can, instead of two hours, maybe I'm dividing two groups, one hour focus on beginners, one hour focus on intermediate, and the others have uh, their homework <laughs> they can work on, and then we'll be together during the day so we can catch up and, uh, and do some homework by the pool, <laughs> practicing, and uh, or we can even um, find another teacher if uh, everybody gets its own different level. <laughs> so, so I cannot multiply myself, but we'll yeah. Uh, there find are teachers. We see that's why we are asking uh, the level of Italian so that they can organize uh, the classes. 
yeah the, all all about this this vacation is that is tailored for you so if there is more advanced group will will you know she will organize accordingly if the group if the inside the group there are two different levels we will figure out somebody else helping her or you know we will we will make it in a way that will be the most um you get the most out of it and and it will be uh, consistent with the with the level of the group and the interest of the group and your and your requests because we we are doing it together it's not yeah. it, there's nothing first year very much. Yeah, it's it not thing written in stone. More than an experiment is something that has been experimented before, it's but has right. been it's but fun. has been designed every time differently. So this is the first time we do with the Italian. Yes. Yes. We did it different. Yeah. Well, so every story is different. Your story is new. So we, this is really a, a a very a very succinct snapshot of your possible itinerary. That is also the one that in more detail. Um, Francesca has already shared with you, but the idea again is that you every day do a lesson and every day you do one or two things outside. So we have two very, very um, reliable drivers who know the, the, the itineraries inside out and they are also very safe drivers. I told them, don't think that going fast makes you look good. You have to sl go slowly. They go slowly. They are they are perfect drivers, and and so we'll take you everywhere. So that this is another thing that we wanted you to to feel. You don't have to worry about anything once you have decided what the itinerary that is the specifics of the experience you want. You're done. You don't think about anything. You just you just come to Florence, and then we'll pick you up. We'll take you. And we'll keep taking care of you the whole vacation. So that is um, that is the first day. The, 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 at the at the check in day, we don't know at what time you arrive. So you stay at the villa, also to familiarize with the place. It, there is also a, an organic garden. It's nice to go there to to you know to 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 have a walk around the property. There are woods, etc., and the pool. So you see the place. So you check in, etc. And you stay at the villa, lunch, dinner, everything is is done there. On, on Sunday, you keep you know enjoying the time there because you will have a very busy week. So you you we want you to rest the first day, and so that will be the visit to Trequanda and the dinner at the Conte Matto, which means the the Med Count, which is this restaurant I was talking about that is on the on this. Uh, uh, medieval town uh, with the with the, with the view of the valley and somebody coming oh, yes. and then there is there is as, as I was mentioning before this this drive to Pienza and then from Pienza to Montalcino is really spectacular is where where you see all the photos about Toscany are either in my where where you have the view view from my villa or that drive between Pienza all the you know all those things with the cypresses and the the typical Toscany um, uh, Toscany poster is from there and people there are places to stop if you want because they're just or just you just drive along and you just enjoy the show and then there is um, the on Tuesday we would like you to decide when when the when the when those of you who decide to come. Uh, tell us your preferences, we were saying that you, there is an option to go to San Gimignano or Montepulciano. San Gimignano is for those who come to Toscany for the first time and didn't see it, probably prefer to go there because it's more known. For those who have been to Toscany multiple times, they've already seen San Gimignano, Florence, etc. you may be interested in Montepulciano because it's a gem. It's a little bit like San Gimignano, but it's less known. And it's the area of the Vino Nobile di Montepulciano is another, is as good as Chianti. Is, is all the, the grapes are called Sangiovese. The Sangiovese is the basis, uh, the basic grape for both, the, for all of them, for Brunello, for Chianti and for Nobile, but depending on the soil and the, and the specific uh, characteristics of the area, there is just, I don't know, 50 miles away, 30 miles away, but still they change. So uh, that that's another place. So you may you may decide that. Uh, then on Wednesday, there is the what I was telling you before is the Fattoria Mainoni Guicciardini, where you have this walk in the in the in the winery that the explanation that is generally very, very compelling. And then you will see the uh, the, the historic um, uh, 
to a bit early from the species of community in the community. Uh, well, no, whatever. Wine, I, cell. wine, wine cell, cell, the cellar, sorry. And then uh, and then the wine tasting and then the house, etc. This is a, a very fun day, a very full day of, of you know, joy and, ex and exchanges. And then then we give one day to Siena because Siena is too beautiful. And uh, and you, you go to see the Duomo and walk around and do shopping. You have a light lunch. Uh, in a, where they have the Academia Kijana, where they teach music. So um, it's a very beautiful place. And then you have a very early, uh, an early, early for Italians, for Americans, let's say, relatively early uh, dinner in the piazza. So you will, you will eat, we'll, we'll tell you which is the restaurant where we go to, not, not for the tourists, the one that Italians go to. And you, and you eat there and you see the piazza in front of you. That is really, to me, even though my mother was born in Siena, every time I go there, I'm, I feel almost emotional because it's, uh, it's spectacular. Siena has the largest square in Europe because, again, in the middle, in the medieval days, that, that was a very important uh, city. And, and so they wanted to show off the power of this big square. And also in the in Siena, in the in the city hall that is on the on the square on the piazza, there is also there are also the famous frescoes of Ambrogio Lorenzetti of the good and bad government that was showing. You know, when you when you come to Italy, especially this area of Tuscany, and you see so much medieval history, you see how advanced intellectually and politically they were. Like Ambrogio Lorenzetti portrayed the concept of good and bad government, not just with economic prosperity, but with justice, uh, equality, and all the principles that are so completely current today, that would bring them economic prosperity. And when instead the bad government was corruption, um, war, um, in inequalities, etc. So that's that's all painted in the in the in the square of the of Siena in the in the city hall. <laughs> then, uh, then there, there is another another tour that we like you very much is Arezzo, which is you know semi-famous, but not that much. It's like a, a Siena, less less known, and uh, and it also it is also famous because it has uh, antique shops, so it's lots of fun also to walk around. It has a beautiful piazza, it has uh, a nice architecture, and also incredible. It has um, uh, Piero della Francesca it has some paintings that are extraordinarily historic and 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 pivotal in in the world art, art history. But there's also the fun of you know hanging around and look at these little antique shops and things. And then you you have the the cooking class. So um, we try to to organize things in a way that you go out, you enjoy, you come back, and you're not exhausted because we could we could add things and things and things but we thought with the italian lesson the drive the eating out the eating in the, the all these things we thought it it was very balanced but for example if you want to add something on once you once you join and want to to register for this tour you really can can put give me your input and i can and i can again uh, modify things accordingly then, then we, um, I didn't put this originally, then Alan, Alan and Barbara came, have been, have been guests and they told me, no, 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 put, put your family. So this is our family. The people you will see most likely is my husband and me who are in the middle. And then next to us are our daughter and our son that sometimes participate. When, when you came, Barbara, my daughter was there, right? My daughter, Louise. And, and 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 my son, so you got them all. And and the ones at, at, at the more at the external side are my my kids' significant others. So at this point, I feel my family six is no no longer four. We're six now, so I put all of us. So something I think was fun to tell you is that my my husband and I hold this title that is called Marchesi Marchesi Minore di Tignano because I remember one friend of mine once told me, you know, Bonnie, I once. Uh, met a contessa and I said, wait a minute, Marquez is higher. So we are we have an aristocratic title that is higher than Contessa, that Countess is, is lower than Duke. So you get it, you can say that. And and we just that we we just say we we couldn't care less, but we we tell you the story because it's fun. And 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 the the house we're in and all the story that we carry, we it carries all these 
generations of aristocracy and and um, again we want to share with you our passion our joy our pride of this history and culture and and at the same time um uh, remind you that you can have a sophisticated level of vacation you know that italy is not just uh, what the movies show you you know like the the pizza, you can have a pizza, but I actually didn't take you to a pizzeria unless, unless you really want it. Yeah. Because there is so much better to see and to enjoy in Italy than just the stereotypical, uh, you know, Italian, blah, blah, blah. So we want to give you a little bit of a of a niche of share with you, essentially, the sophisticated Italy that we're so familiar with and we love so much. And, and we don't see why not sharing it. So uh, a few a few details, as I was telling you, everything is planned. Our drivers, Andrea and Pasquale, uh, that they are our drivers and they, we trust them on everything, you know, even if their English is very basic, but whatever you need and you will feel safe with them. Um, so every morning you wake up, you have this breakfast, you, you, we have a beautiful spread and you will take your tray and you will bring it to the gazebo and you will enjoy the, your time and it's it's a very nice way to start the day and again it will be just you and uh, and as i was saying we we didn't pick this week accidentally we really think that can be some of the most I ideal time even though people say august is too is too hot the end of august is no longer hot and, but it's still warm enough to enjoy all the part that is the pool, the, the swimming, the, the, you know, being soaking in the sun. And so I would like to, to leave, to, to give the floor, as we used to say when we did meetings, uh, officials, uh, official meetings with governments, I would like to give the floor to Alan and, and Barbara because they have been, Alan has been our guest uh, with his family, first with friends and second time with family, has been uh, our guest twice. And Barbara came this, this summer and I would like to say all the things that I told you that people are happy I may, you know, I may make him this up. So I will, I will ask my testimonials to tell you how it was. So Joanna. can you come over? <laughs> I can take another chair. <laughs> so that the people at home, yeah, so they can see you also from home. <laughs> okay. You wanna go first? Sure. <laughs> I um I can't say enough wonderful about this experience in every way. It was the most special. Um, every sense is engaged. The views are beautiful. You see beautiful things. You taste amazing food. You hear birds and and and. Uh, you know, the wind blowing, everything about it is so unique and special. And I can say I, I have traveled all over the world. And this was one of the most fabulous vacations. It was so relaxing and stimulating at the same time. The guides were fantastic um, in every city. They were so knowledgeable. And we got to see very special things. I had been to Italy many times and we got to see very unique things that you would never see. You saw a castle that somebody's private art collection it was unbelievable. Um, and the biggest thing was that everyone at the villa was so lovely, so sweet and accommodating and I I I just felt like the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> there you go, Alan. <laughs> wow, hard hard to top that. Um, a couple of things, maybe that are a little bit different. Just first of all, to note that uh, Bonnie and her husband Giovanni are truly exceptional people. It's really hard to characterize fully what they bring to this because. Bonnie told you in a few words how they have both these long family histories, but also extensive time in the United States, brought up their kids in the United States. But they're uh, just 
to add a little more and maybe embarrass Bonnie. She's a PhD physicist and her husband is a PhD economist who worked with Stiglitz, for any of you who know economics. So th these are really special people and uh, their commitment to doing this is equally a reflection of all the passion that you heard from her. There are also, um, just without repeating too much, um, the view that you have from really both the front and the back of the villa are remarkable. So it's how far from the road? Mm -hmm. It's over a mile, right, from the road to the Depends which road, like uh, <laughs> the, the gravel road or the, the asphalt yeah. road. So, to a the, couple of miles. A couple of miles. So, which also, by the way, if any of you are into early morning walks or jogging, it's perfect. You, you have this just gorgeous, uh, unmolested area that you, you know, I, I, I'm a jogger. So, for me, it was really perfect. And Bonnie mentioned in passing that there's a vegetable garden. There's also uh, how many hectares of olive trees? 40? Some? Yeah, a little less. But I mean, the farm is 150. Yeah. So it's technically an agriturismo in the Italian context. And it's a farm. It's, it's an agriculture. Yeah. And the olive oil that they make from their olives is really something special that uh, hopefully you have a chance, you will taste it, but hopefully you also get a chance to take some home. Um, and then frequently the food there includes food that's picked that day from the, <laughs> from the vegetable cart. I mean, it's just extraordinary. The other thing is, the quality of the guides was, I think Barbara, you would agree, was just Phenomenal. extraordinary. I, like Barbara, I've done a lot of travel with, as Bonnie and her husband did in the World Bank, and have been in many countries and with many guides. And these <laughs> these guides were really, really, really exceptional in the quality and also in their manners in their interactions with the group uh, in just adapting to what you did or didn't want to see. And then finally, um, the personal connections that they have, I'm sure in things you were describing, there would be a little bit of maybe variation from things that we did. But we went into a, a place in Siena that was this <coughs> remarkable place that was not open to the public. Yeah, it yeah. was fabulous. It was it just was... this incredible, yeah, and uh, right off the square. And um, and similarly, when we went to the family winery, I've done a lot of wine tours. <laughs> I've done that uh, uh, with friends, just done a couple of wine trips to Portugal and Sicily. I've never had a tour of a vineyard like he's your, your, your nephew. Yeah. yeah, he is a he's a student of viniculture himself, and he's extremely proud of the detailed knowledge. So when you the tour there includes drinking wine, of course, and we bought some. They ship it if you want. Very reasonable, by the way. <laughs> especially the Chianti Reserve, I highly recommend. But um, the tour, going through the vineyard and having this family member, you know, just pointing out specific different features of the vines and uh, issues with climate change and how they're trying to adapt perhaps different grapes and things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, it was, again, and extraordinarily exceptional and so just to hear it, it's family is one thing but it's the benefits of all the connections and the thought that they have put into this is really something special so 
I'm gonna use some of your concepts. <laughs> so in terms of the of the of the price, etc. Uh, I don't want to brag, but if you check online tours in Tuscany of high end level like mine, they are between six and ten thousand a person. So we kept it very low, very low, because we want to, we this is not a real business. It's a business that it you know helps us keep the house as 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 it is, and we want to share these these experience. So this is the price, and this price also includes the lessons, the Italian lessons. So I mean, it is extremely reasonable, and it includes everything except for when you go eat in in a restaurant. Because I don't like what what people do when they do the then they do a fixed menu, and then there are some people who don't eat anything. Some others who want to drink, you know, a hundred dollars bottle. You're free, and it will be really a small. A small contribution because again as i was telling you it's the prices are different and of of course you know in some restaurants more in some other less but i mean when when every time i come i mean i live in new york so it's much worse than washington <laughs> but whenever i go to it i mean i go there all the time and i go to the contemato i see is this the check really are you sure <laughs> you know so and but i also wanted to uh to um uh specify that if the, the 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 flight is not included mm -hmm. so because if if it would be included would be another 2000 would be couldn't yeah. be less than 6000 and i was thinking this is something i thought while i was coming here since um francesca told me that in other tours they done with them they were in they were including the 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 the, the flight i was thinking we collaborate also with a small, <clears throat> small but very efficient uh, Italian um, travel agency. So I could ask her if you want once you set up the group that she organizes. Your, you pay her. You know, it has nothing to do with me. But at least I could I could provide you with this kind of service, and she wouldn't charge you anything because it's it's part of her job. You know, I think that airlines, whatever, you know, give a commission or something. So it would be probably a discounted price if she organizes a, a group. So I was thinking, why not offering that? I she she helped me, helped our guest. I remember one lady once was was leaving from Rome and changed it to Florence and was ready to pay and I don't know, five hundred dollars, you know, in a high season. And she managed to to get her to change the flight with nothing. You no. Know? So I mean this this um, this agent's pretty good. So in case that is something we can think of. And so, I mean, everything is included, all the meals at the villa. We will You will generally eat once or twice at the villa, twice during the weekend. And then during the week, it will be one day at one, one meal at the villa and one meal out, meal out more or less. And there is the Italian class that, that it's, it's on me that the, all the tickets, all the guys, everything you do is, is included. And, um, and so that's uh, the, all the, the other thing I cannot include if, if, if you want to go to Rome instead of Florence, because, uh, the cost would be too high, too high for me. So if you want to say, I want to go to Rome and not to Florence, then you will. They, then I can organize a private driver for you, but it will be. We, we do that. We he do did that. that. Yeah. yeah. So if you say, you know, I want to take a direct flight to Rome because to Florence you have to stop in Europe somewhere. So you you do I don't know Washington, Frankfurt, Florence, or whatever. And if you want to go to Rome instead because there is the direct flight, then you organize. We can organize a private driver for you, but it will be an extra expense. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you go to Florence and we'll pick you up all included in the in the in the price, which is again, Florence Airport. Or Florence Airport. Station. You know, Florence Station is very close. So my, yeah. my drivers uh, are, are flexible. So if you want to, you know, take the train from Rome. Yeah, if you want to take a train from Rome, etc., is uh, what we ask you. And we will, when we when you when you decide to come, uh, we, we will ask you to maybe coordinate a little bit the arrival time but you're coming from the same city so if if, if my drivers can, can come in a in a range of time that we don't have to do multiple mm -hmm. trips you know we can do two but not five or six for 12 mm -hmm. people 
Uh, and then I wanted to show you how to navigate the website because a lot of information that people email me and ask me or call me is on the website. So I don't know, Francesca, if you want to spend a few minutes just to show you a little bit uh, how that this that this works. Can I, I please. Oh, okay. Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah I was I, leaving the I, questions at the end, but please go ahead. I'm so sorry. Should I wait until the end of the presentation? Uh, no, you. I mean. I, I will yeah. open for questions later, yeah. but please go ahead now if you want to. You were saying. I didn't. It's not actually a question. I just wanted to say I think this is so lovely. And I've been looking at your website while, um, you. while you've been speaking. And I want to congratulate you. I'm in communications. And it just seems to me that so few people in Italy know how to build a website that actually beauty. showcases the beauty of their surroundings and you're in such a gorgeous location. So thank I just wanted so to say thank you. It looks like a great tour. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Christo, Christo. This is the, and and please go ahead because you have to leave. So yes. tell me. Uh, there are a group of 13 of us mm -hmm. and we are in the process of acquiring Italian citizenship. Oh. Citizenship. Oh. Descent. So, uh, that process should finish later in 24, maybe early in 25. And we're looking to rent out a villa for our family um, after we've all achieved to celebrate. citizenship. So my question, one of the reasons I came tonight was, is the villa available for private rentals? We have a group of 13. Uh, as of now, as of now, it isn't. As of, as of now, it is not okay. because so far I only did this this cultural experience. So I didn't. I don't rent it just. But you know, never say never. Especially awesome. if you talk about twenty twenty five, it may be, it may be. But so far, what I do is this kind of thing because the point is to share the experiences yeah. and not not to rent out the house mm -hmm. however again i'm saying why why i can follow up with you yeah you can the follow up the the you can follow up uh, so, directly with me yes with so uh, very much like what we have. yeah yeah so you see the website at home yes yeah, so can, website, can everybody right? see the website now with a oh, you are you are muted. So can you can you do it like that? <laughs> See, no <laughs> website. Yes, we can. Uh, yes, online. Yes. So I just wanted to show you this. So uh, you can click on the on the main page. Obviously, this is this is um. So we have a description of. Um, of the of the of the villa. When you click click learn more. You have a specific description of the villa, and then uh, and then there is the um, there is a description uh, in a, a text, and then there is the villa gallery that shows you a little bit uh, specific. Um, sp you see, this is the the photo, the the villa. This is the view. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, that's what you see. This is a Leonardo picture, and this is this is really what you see. It's not just made up or far away. Actually, the castle is closer. You see it closer. So, and as you can see, it's very, it's very quiet. It's surrounded by the woods. This is my properties. You can, the, the, the boomerang shape uh, is the, is the um, olive grove. Uh, the rest is, is woods. And then on the, on the Southern part, I also have um, some, um, to get out of it. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm so, so far so so uh, so good. So so just to show you how how well I manage my website. So mm -hmm. then then there is the experience in Tuscany. It gives you the um, a a. a a snapshot of the the classic itinerary but if you want to go and see the tour so home was the home page that i showed you that shows you the villa the, the the pool all the things that are related to the house 
and then and 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 then and then attach you to the first page of the of the tours. Then the villa explain the tours. Accommodation shows you the rooms, and the, we have three suites. So every two rooms, um, there is a common room. So on on top of having all the ground floor with the large uh, dining and living room. There are these suites. So there is the Chianti suite, for example, I call them, you know, for the wine names. It has this, this is the common area. This is the, the rose room. And you see, you can have a you can have a peek of my bathrooms that I have all have a different design. The bathrooms are cool. I, I just am obsessed. I'm sorry. Because they are hand, hand painted, so they look like an antique bathroom, but they are modern, so they are they're comfortable. So the, the Rose Room has a private terrace that has like almost 360 degrees view. And this is the this is the the, the rooms have both you know double beds and and um, and uh, full beds. And as you see, the, the blue room, the pale blue room has a pale blue bathroom. And, and this is a little bit an example of the view. And uh, and uh, so the accommodation, then you can see all the suites. Then what I wanted to show is tours. So if you click tours, you will see that is the classic itinerary. That is the best of Tuscany. Then the one with food, wine, and cooking classes. Then there was also a week that I did we did with Barbara that we invited musicians, so we had live music every day. Secret Tuscany, the, the opposite of the classic. The classic is the best, the most known place, the Secret Tuscany. And you can see the itinerary described in detail, and you will see that yours is one different version of this. And uh, galleries, uh, we, we have both in the galleries, we have the villa gallery that we did, but also guest photos. So the people who come show us their photos. So, so we have the, this fun photos that there were some people wanted to, so this is my, this is my nephew and the harvest, we, the harvest of the, Maioni Guicciardini Winery. This is uh, Alessandro Piccinini, the chef, very proud of himself. This is the view from, from the villa of, of the, the winery that sees all the valley with San Gimignano at the end. This is Felipe, he's, a, he's an armor that we have <laughs> that becomes friends of everybody. <laughs> in, in the, and these are just, you know, everybody sent us the, the pictures that they found more fun, found more fun. And you can see, that everybody's having a great, this is Alan. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, this is when the, the chef, uh, after the cooking class, this is us picking up the tomatoes <laughs> that we will eat the same day. This is us making pasta, etc. Et so this is the this is the night or along the pool. And this is Cesare with this, uh, like a hundred years old, very long key. <laughs> And these are, you know, different. This is the, how it looks like. A little bit, just a, a little bit of, of you know, a, an, a, an Im image of how life is there and how fun people have. And our colors, our sunsets are spectacular and our garden is beautiful. So, and when it when it rains, it's, it's also beautiful inside. So we also have a beautiful place to stay if it rains. But, you know, these are the restaurants where, where we take you. It's not only the food, it's also the view. This is in Montalcino. And so anyway, I'll leave you here with the... Yes. So I actually wanted to go back to the... Where is the... Where is the... Let's go back to the and we to the page that says if anybody has questions. Oppure we can see each other. We can see each other. So I was asking if anybody has questions from from the room and the homes. Can you I would what I would like to do is if I sign up is Continue my own trip in Italy. I want to go to Ferrara and yes, yes, before I go back. Yes, so can I get like taken to the train station? Yes, yes. Many people did that. We were saying that before. 
that uh, many people did that. We we take you to the train station and you go to Venice, to Milan, to Sicily, to Bologna. Bologna is very close from Florence. It's like two hours train, nothing. Yeah. We're close to everything, I told you. We're in the middle of nowhere, but we're close to everything. So to go to Bologna takes nothing. And then when you put you the flights to Florence or I was saying since I, I lived here, I, I was a frequent flyer of United because it's the main airline here in Washington. United does uh, is is um it's united with Lufthansa. So you That's generally do That's Frankfurt, true. Munich, yeah. and, and you, you take a flight to Florence and you and you do a, a United Lufthansa. Okay, so you go to United in Munich and Lufthansa in Florence. Exactly, so but it's the same to, airline. It will be United. Yeah. It will be all United operated by Lufthansa. And unlike the US, once you oh, come oh. to Europe, you don't have to pick up your luggage. Once you come to Europe, even if you stop, you'll just pick up your luggage only at the final destination. So uh, it's it's very easy. It's it's one flight, it's one, one company, even if they will use Lufthansa. So that is generally what I did. Actually, what did a, you do? Um, well, we went to Rome with Father. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everyone at home. Cheers. Sorry, we here now. We have a very <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you can you can open your wine at home too, or your or your bubbly at home. I actually thought, of, believe it or not, something else very good about the villa that you didn't mention. What was that? The environmental features. Oh, um, yeah, uh, being a, an expert in climate. <laughs> yes, I worked 30 years on climate change. So climate since change. I do as I preach, uh, the, the AC is um, it is powered by photovoltaic and the, the, the heating is is um, is um, uh, fueled by, by solar panels. So of course, there is also gas to, to catch up. But I mean, it's... Um, it's environmentally very is is carbon neutral because I also have a lot of sinks because I have a lot of of um, of trees but of forest there, but we we set up a new um, we 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 know when we renovated the the villa we we invested massively in renewable energy so so you can you can have your AC without feeling too guilty. Yeah. No, and I'm looking for for interesting conversation and from our uh, Susan. And Susan has a question. Yes, I just wanted to say that it's really beautiful, molto bello. But unfortunately, now I have to go study for my Italian class on Thursday because uh -huh. Tarika <laughs> will be very disappointed in me. Yeah. As you can see from my background, I love Tuscany, and <laughs> I can see you're already there. Yeah, I wish. And I look forward to having a chance to visit with you sometime. So thank you for taking so much time. Oh, Francesca, thank you for the session tonight. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Another question? Ciao. Ciao. Oh, una domanda. Sì. Sì, sono Raquel. Okay, so what would be the next step for us, if we were interested, how would we make a deposit, reserve a room? I I would say that uh, you can you can just um, uh, send an email to to um, yes or okay. Francesca and I give her the registration form. C -c -c or oh, or she or you just we just make a list. We can do one. Uh, so there yeah, is a registration so, so. form. There is a payment that can be done at the booking for, of thirty percent. Okay. And then yes. we keep we keep going. There there are all yeah. these options in the registration form. Okay. On the website. Thank you very much. So <laughs> here in this uh, no in a tour yeah tours. Uh, um, let me. Let you me... can you if you email Francesca and say I'm interested, mm -hmm. either she or I will send you the the registration form. Okay. So you don't have to go electronically. We will send it to you. You're not seeing uh, the website, right? Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let us know. Okay. So now you see the website. And if you go to uh, Trips to Italy. 
Here it is, and you can uh, hear. Okay, so flag. she already loaded the, the, or the registration form, form which is even more, which is even more uh, efficient. So you go to trips and uh, from our website, and uh, you click into the form. Now tonight, I don't know why it's so slow. Okay, so here is the form. So with all your information and uh, guess one, guess two, and uh, and yeah, and uh, also the level of Italian uh, that you're interested in and uh, frequently asked questions. So actually, it's already the form is already there. You don't even need to yeah. ask. Yeah, you yeah, can fill it up, but you can definitely, if you if you you know contact um, contact Francesca and um, you you can also have my the email is villabonizella at gmail dot com, uh, but you can contact either one of us yeah. and we will set up the group and when the group is set up we can we can go into these details if you prefer to go to one place or another and any any nuances that are needed. And um, if you don't find the registration form, we'll email it to you, but it's in the website, the Euclid form. Any more questions? More questions from home? No? All okay. <laughs> okay. So, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you can always email us. Uh, Thank you for your participation. I hope that was clear also from home. You could see us and hear us. And uh, to Thank the you next very one. much for this wonderful <laughs> presentation. <laughs> I, was, I always enjoy sharing this. Buona serata. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.